All right, today I'll be showing you how to change your seal kit, which is part number WW200 on your Whisper Wash Series 3 swivel. Um, this is going to be for any Whisper Wash swivel, um, especially those with the green cap. Now, uh, when you buy this kit, it does come with a breakdown here, but it's not really descriptive and it doesn't really explain what you're supposed to be doing. So I'm showing this video just to show you how easy it is to get done. There are five seals that come in the kit. We have the main seal, which does have uh, some metal in there. We have a secondary seal, which is just like the main seal, but a little smaller. Also does have uh, some metal ribs in there. I have my quad seal, which is just a soft rubber seal and then a large o-ring and a small o-ring those are the five seals we're changing today so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop the top off of the green swivel thus uh, exposing what's called the cartridge kit or the bearings and shaft and i'm going to push it up on the bottom to pull it out so now i have it out and um, pretty simple process we're going to start from the top uh, i'm going to go ahead and remove this red cap it's on top there's nothing holding it on there's another silver cap I'm gonna go ahead and remove that also and now this is just my bearings and my shaft is bare so the first thing I'm gonna work on is the red cap uh, you see here um, the seals that are already here uh, it's the small seal and the main seal I'm just gonna use a dental pick here to uh, kind of pick it out and I'm just going to line it up with the part that uh, I'm replacing it with, just so you can see. And this main seal is in there nice and tight. There we go. It's going to be the main seal. I just want you to notice the difference between an old one and a brand new one. You see this one, um, it's still opened up or expanded in there, where this one's kind of been squeezed shut over time. You can't even see the metal in there. This one even looks a little bigger, but uh, it is the right part. So now we got those out. We're just going to go ahead and replace them in the same order. I'm going to take the uh, large or the small O-ring going to lay it right down in there uh, nothing major and then the main seal it's going to go in there it's a very tight fit I'm actually going to push down super tight it's not even laying down flat in there a trick I like to do is I use a 13 or 14 uh, millimeter socket and this way I can push down on the entire thing from all sides at the same time Like I said, that is a super tight fit. You are going to have to get it down in there. And I literally felt it um, when it hit the seat. You know, it was almost like a click. And now you see it is in there perfectly flat. It's not sticking up really at all. Uh, just trying to show you there that it's seated all the way down in there. And now we've already got two seals out of the way. So now we have a secondary seal which was just underneath this when it was assembled it looked like that and here we're gonna have the large o-ring and the secondary seal uh, same process nothing too tough we're gonna go ahead and pull them Once again, this is another real tight fitting seal. There it is. And now I'm just going to be replacing them with uh, the new parts. That's going to go just like that. And then you see the seat where the seal was. Same deal. This one is much easier to get in than the main seal. And it also uh, gets down into that seat. Nothing sticking up. There we go. That's four out of five. That leads us with one more seal, which is this extra thick one. I'm actually going to go ahead and reassemble this at this point. Sometimes these seals, because it's creating a seal around this shaft, it's real tight. 
you know, um, they might even try and pop out on you as you're installing it. I like to put a, I have a little bit of grease on my fingers, uh, just kind of rub the shaft a little bit. Maybe even get the inside of the seal, just to lube it up a little. And you see it did come off as I tried to slide it over, but I'm just going to go ahead and push it right back down in there. Just like that. The red one was on top. I fully expect this seal to pop off once again as I push it down. It did. Once again, I'm just going to use that socket trick to give it even pressure all the way around because that is a very, very tight seal. And like I said, I like to use my socket to get it down in there and it will fight you. There it goes, got one side in, one side still sticking up. Got to get that down to create the proper seal. There it is. It's in there nice and flush. Perfect. Um, so at this point, this is almost ready to reinstall, but not quite yet. Where's the last seal? The last seal is actually in here. Um, and it is the toughest one to change. Um, the reason it's difficult is when you reinstall it, you got to make sure it's not in there twisted around. It's got to lay nice and flat, just like you see that one in there. Uh, once again, I'm using my dental pick to get in there. There we go. And now I'm just going to replace it with this. Um, my trick, I like to pinch it. Kind of get it in there. Try and do it so you can see it on camera. Give it a pinch. Just a little bit of patience. You know, it's not... Um, Super difficult, but uh, the bigger your hands are, the tougher this will be. You can see I got it about halfway in and I'm just kind of pinching it as I go. I'll use my fingers to guide it in where it needs to go. last part is where it's going to want to twist on you. I don't know if you can see in the video how it's attempting to twist. You know, I can't just push it straight in here. I actually need this part to go to the back and this part to stay forward. So I'm going to use that pick and you see how I got it nice and flush in there. I'm going to do the same thing here. It looks like it's almost ready. And there it goes. It's in there. It's not twisting around or anything. It's perfect this point let me go ahead and drop this in here uh, what I like to do at this stage is I get a little bit of multi-purpose grease and I'll just get a little bit of multi-purpose grease and uh, just grease this up um, and that's just to help it all get in there the way it's supposed to just get some grease here um, if you have a used assembly, obviously you have any kind of debris in there or anything, you want to clean that up. You could even grease up the inside of this wall a little bit. Definitely won't cause any damage. I wouldn't go crazy, but a nice thin layer of grease. Now this is ready to slide right into place. You see it comes down. 
when you land on this first seal, you're gonna feel resistance, but you're not all the way in yet. I'm gonna give it a push, and there it goes. It does have a little spring to it, but that seal's not coming back up, and that's it. I've just changed my five seals on the Whisper Wash Series 3 Swivel, and that's how it's done.